For the uninitiated, Farming Simulator is the quintessential Ron Seal game. You, the player, assume the role of a generic farmer, and it's up to you to manage a farm in any way you choose. You'll be doing this by participating in three main areas of activity, livestock trade, forestry management and arable farming, all of which are open from the get-go, allowing you to choose your preferred path to make a living as a farmer. When you jump into Farming Simulator 19, you'll be presented with three difficulty options, albeit far from the traditional easy, medium and hard. The first is recommended if you've never played a Farming Simulator game before, and will teach you the ropes of the game. This mode will teach you the basics of the crop cycle from planting through to harvesting and finally preparing the land again for another bout of sowing. When you've made your way through the tutorial, you can carry on playing the game as normal, making use of the machinery, equipment and buildings you've been given. The other two difficulties are less generous. The intermediate option starts you with nothing but a wedge of cash to build your own farm. You'll need to purchase land, machinery and any outbuildings in order to begin your farming journey. It's easy to get carried away with this lump sum, but bear in mind that you'll need the essentials, at least one tractor, a cultivator, planter and seeds, a harvester and header, and a trailer if you want to carry out all the basic tasks and start turning a profit. The last and most difficult option follows the same setup as the intermediate one, but with significantly less cash, a more erratic stock market, and an overall decline in the amount of money you receive for selling your produce. It's the latter option that will offer the most authentic experience, but there's no shame in taking the easy route with farming sim. Once you've decided your fate, you will then be given an option to play in one of the two maps. The first map, Ravenport, is situated around an American town, with a fairly centralised layout of areas of interest. The map itself is nicely varied with mountain views, built-up urban areas, and even a pier. The second map, Felsbrunn, is set around an idyllic European town, with great-looking buildings, a market square, and large port in the northeastern corner of the map. The areas of interest in this map tend to be situated around the perimeter, with purchasable land and fields residing in the middle. Whilst playing Farming Simulator 19, you'll be cultivating land, sowing your seeds, and eventually harvesting your crop to sell at the many locations dotted around the game's two maps. You can, however, delve deeper into the gameplay by applying fertiliser or spreading manure and slurry to increase crop yields. Lime can also be spread in the field to make the soil more nutritious, and you need to battle plagues of weeds by either spraying them or using special types of machinery to drag them up. If you're finding the latter two activities too much hard work, they can be turned off in the settings. In fact, Farming Simulator 19 has an excellent array of options for you to tailor your experience, including the adjustment of the in-game time speed, the time it takes for crops to grow, and the toggling of crop withering. All of these options allow you to make the game as easy or as hard as you like, and you won't be penalised or rewarded for making adjustments. If you prefer a more hands-off approach, you can hire workers to help at your farm. Workers can be hired to carry out basic agricultural tasks such as harvesting, preparing land or planting seeds, and their wages will be deducted automatically throughout the day. Utilising these workers allows for you to carry out more than one task at any given time, and lets you offload the jobs you dislike, leaving you to focus on the ones you do like. And it's not just your farm that you need to work on. Contracts can be taken out for other farmers in the area too. The contracts focus on the standard farming activities in the game and may present you with tasks such as harvesting a field, preparing land or simply delivering an item to a location on the map. You can even lease hire the required equipment from the in-game store at a reduced overall price for completing the contract, meaning you can roll with contracts right from the beginning without having to invest heavily in your own equipment. The two areas of activity, forestry management and livestock trade, are a little less feature-packed but are viable means of income nonetheless. Forestry management requires you to cut down trees using a chainsaw, or if you've got the cash, a purpose-built logging machine. Once you fell the tree, you need to trim off the smaller branches, load the logs onto a truck and sell them on the sawmill. Alternatively, logs can be chopped down to wood chip and sold at the biomass plant. Animals can be purchased once you own a suitable enclosure. You need to ensure that animals are kept fed, watered and cleaned to ensure they have a happy lifestyle, and if you maintain this lifestyle, they may eventually breed. You'll then have a choice to either sell their produce, milk, eggs, etc, or send them to market while it'll be turned into meaty treats. Farming Simulator 19 also introduces horses for the first time in the series. Horses primarily reside in their paddock, but can be taken for a ride throughout the countryside, allowing you to simulate Red Dead Redemption whilst playing Farming Simulator. As with most Farming Simulator games, the scenery takes a backseat in the visual department. Both maps have nice enough scenery, but the levels of detail within them aren't all that impressive. But regardless of your method of play, the vast majority of your time will be spent behind the wheel of one of the many impressive looking pieces of machinery in the game. 
Fortunately, the efforts of the art team have been focused on making the pieces of machinery look exactly like their real-life counterparts, and they've done this with resounding success. Tractors are modelled perfectly and each has a fully rendered cockpit for first-person farming antics. The equipment is also incredibly detailed, allowing you to see all the moving parts when cultivating land or harvesting your crops. And after a hard day's work, machinery will be caked in mud ready for a power wash to ensure it all looks spick and span for the next day of labour. Farming Sim 19 also introduces John Deere machinery for the first time in the series, including tractors, harvesters and front loaders. This John Deere machinery sits amongst 300 other pieces of kit, including those from licensed brands such as New Holland, Massey Ferguson, Challenger, Grimmy and more. There is a ridiculous amount of machinery and equipment packed into this game, and if you even have the faintest interest in farming, you'll be sure to find something recognisable. Whilst Farming Sim 19 can be praised for the amount of content it offers, it unfortunately falls flat in other areas. The handling of tractors and machinery is something that I've had issues with in the previous Farming Simulator titles, and these are still present in 19. Turning in particular is very sensitive, and a small nudge of the left stick will send your vehicle into overspin. Larger vehicles also handle the same as smaller ones, so you never truly appreciate the power of a 600 plus horsepower tractor. This sensitive steering is lessened when performing an intensive task such as cultivating land, but is still present and makes fine tuning a furrow all that more difficult. The in-game physics are also a little unpredictable, particularly when stacking bales and loading them into a trailer. A perfectly stacked row of bales will often begin jumping around when transporting them to sell. This is also true of fallen trees, which can also prove to be problematic when trying to move them. The controls themselves are also incredibly complex and require pressing one of the two shoulder buttons and a face button to perform an action. This presumably isn't an issue on keyboard, and whilst Giant Software have done a great job of condensing such a complex key set into a controller, it does take a lot of getting used to. There is fortunately a help box which can be displayed in the top left hand corner, should you forget what you're doing, but will take time for you to get used to how to play. And in fact this is indicative of the game as a whole. Farming Simulator 19 is very much an investment rather than a pick up and play game. You need to invest a lot of time in order to get the most out of the game, but it's one of those rare games that serves as a period of relaxation opposed to the usual Michael Bay-esque titles that swamp the modern gaming market. But with all its flaws, Farming Simulator is an incredibly compelling game. To an observer it may look like a dull and fruitless game, but once you've put down your controller there's an overwhelming urge to revisit your farm to work on another field. It's not the perfect game by any means, but it's a great one nonetheless. It's certainly not going to appeal to everyone, but those interested in farming and management games will find something enjoyable here. It is arguably a little low on the ground for new features when compared to previous games, but judged by its own merits, Farming Simulator 19 is the definitive farming game.